Hey everybody, it's Tino from PeaceLoveAndPitbulls.org and here is an update on if you have been keeping track of the Shorty Saga. Um, it's been a long day. Uh, kind of stressful. Anyway, so two years ago today, Shorty was diagnosed with cancer, with lymphoma. It was so bad, that's little Shorty right there licking... Uh, what are you licking? Licking her paw. Um, two years ago today, Shorty was diagnosed with lymphoma. The vet said she had eight weeks to live. So today I made a video. I videotaped us going to the vet, the very same vet that gave us that diagnosis that um, said she had eight weeks to live. And, uh, and as much as it would be a great video to post, as much as I would love to show the world how of the vet eating his own words and rubbing his nose and the establishment's nose in cannabis oil. Um, I'm not going to post it because it looks, it looks bad and I don't want to hurt his business. Um, it's very disappointing. Um, like when I first got into rescue in 2010, I started Peace, Love, and Pipples 501c3, um, nonprofit and quickly realized that it's not a big great big family of people it, what I realized is it turned it was it's drama and it's ego and it's pissing contests and it's pretty much like that with with everything I think I think everybody starts out with good intention intentions but then somewhere along the line the bottom somewhere along the line the bottom line and overhead comes into play and then you know you know the road you know, the road to hell paved with, you know that saying. Um, so the reason I'm not going to post this video of, because first of all, he didn't know I was taping. I was video. I put the phone in my pocket because I wanted to get a real um, response from him because two years, I wanted him to see a ghost because two years ago, he told me she would not be here in about eight weeks. He, and he said, and I quote, it'll take her. It'll definitely take her. And, um, you know, I don't fault doctors or vets for their bedside manner, I get it, you know, they have to, they have to become hard sometimes, most of them, to make it through the day, because they give a lot of bad news, and there's a lot of, so I'm not going to post the video of my vet eating his words because of cannabis oil, by the way, if I didn't mention that, she was, two years, two years ago today, she was given the um, death sentence of eight weeks to live, and we put her on cannabis oil, and that was it in the dog cancer survival guide by Damien Dressler. We did no chemo. We did no prednisone. So I wanted to get a real response from him. So I put the camera in my shirt pocket facing out. And he was, it was very disappointing because he was obviously shook, noticeably not happy, <laughs> which, uh, but then, you know, as I kept going in my head, I was like, okay, it makes sense. He was threatened. He was frustrated. Uh, he was challenged all at the same time. Um, and then, you know, the whole thing with the God complex, I think that was part of it, you know, like I can't be like, so what he said was, I said, Hey, remember her? You told me that she had eight weeks to live two years ago. And he said, it wasn't me. And he said, I, and then I was like, no, it was you. And he goes, no, I disagree. And I'm like, dude, w w bad incidents, tra traumatic memories in our minds. We, we, we book, there's their bookmarks. They're automatically bookmarked. We can't help that. Now, I may not remember what day it was. I remember not what I was wearing or, you know, the time, but I remember who I was talking to. And I remember who gave me some horrible news about one of my most precious family members, Shorty. So I would remember. And he just kept saying, it wasn't me. And then I'm like, I even, I even joked. I was like, what is this, a shaggy video? Bro, I remember who told me my dog was going to die. Um, so I, I'm not going to post the video because you have, to, you have to take all this stuff into consideration. I don't want to hurt his business. He's a good guy. Uh, he has great prices. I always, I always um, refer people to him. Um, but I don't want to hurt his business any more than cannabis oil already is and will. Um, what I saw before my eyes was this guy with his... his <coughs> the life... Pause, pause. What I saw was the life of this guy's business model.
flashing before his eyes. That's what I saw. Uh, Mickey, that's enough. Come here. Sit down. Come here, shorty. Quiet. So what I saw was all this going through his head. He was noticeably shook. And it, like I said, it'd be a great video to post, but I don't want to hurt his business any more than cannabis oil will. What oil will? What I saw was Lars Ulrich from Metallica in the Napster hearings, fighting Napster for giving away his property, for giving away his product. What I saw was Polaroid fighting iPhone. Uh, I saw his traditional business model flashing before his eyes, like I said. Um, his hands are tied, so that's why I'm not going to post this, because his hands are tied. Look at it. Look at it from a business owner's perspective. Here's a, a, a drug, a plant, that can replace basically most, if not a, a lot, if not most, of what I prescribe. Who's going to pay one or two dollars a pill for prednisone when they can get a plant with zero side effects? So all, taking all this in mind is, is why I'm not going to blow up his spot. He is a business owner trying to make a living. Um, the reason, there's a reason why it's been vilified. He's, there's a reason why the propaganda machine of reefer madness and William Randolph Hearst in 1935 made this an illegal plant is because, and, and the reason why it's a still today a schedule one drug. A scheduled one drug meaning there's no medical value. Weed, cannabis, is still on that list of schedule one drugs. There's a reason why, and it's, it's greed. It's people wanting money more than they want to help people and animals out. Now, I'm not lumping my vet into this group. He's a business owner trying to make a living. I'm talking about big pharma. I'm talking about the people who make legislation who continue to, to live in, 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 in the pockets of the people with the money that, that want to demonize this and make this illegal. The genie is out of the bottle. There's no more. It's, it's too late. We can't unring the bell. It, the, the news is out, and the news is that cannabis oil works. And... He said himself, he said the longest he's seen an animal live was one year with prednisone. And there's all kinds of, you know, prednisone's not good for, there's, there's side effects and it's not good. And so she's passed a year with no medicine, with no uh, anything they've prescribed. She's here because of cannabis oil. And she's over here licking Bandit's face. Um, so once again, today is the two-year anniversary that Shorty was diagnosed with lymphoma. Um, my plan was to go into the vet, record the whole session of him doing a checkup on her and basically eating his words. But his reaction is, is not good. And I don't want to, like I said, I don't want to hurt his business. He's a business owner. And I'm looking at it from a business owner's sense with a guy whose hands are tied. He can't, he can't prescribe it. He can't talk about it but he's gonna lose money to it. And because of all the legalities, he can't bring it into his practice and prescribe it to people for inflammation, for cancer, for seizures, and the list goes on. So, yeah. I just wanna let you guys know that uh, two years ago today, my girl was given eight weeks to live because of cannabis oil. She is here. And uh, there's a lot of people that aren't thrilled about that, and it's sad. Um, so if you know anybody who is uh, suffering from cancer, uh, seizures, inflammation, arthritis, uh, of course, glaucoma, uh, four legs or two, this works for humans too, call King Harvest. Uh, Kingharvest.org is the website, but don't waste your time emailing. Um, I've sent a lot of business their way, so you need to call. Uh, they're, they're overwhelmed because they're doing a lot of stuff for kids, too. They're working with humans. It's not just animals. They are across the board helping people and animals um, with their ailments. So uh, call King Harvest. They can answer all your questions. Don't 
waste your time posting comments, asking me, go to them directly, call them, they can walk you through everything. I'm gonna tell you right here, like I said a million times in the last two years on my videos, we did two things to save Shorty. We did the Damien Dressler Dog Cancer Survival Guide, and we did cannabis oil. We did no chemo, we did a little bit of prednisone, but then we weaned her off it about two months into the oil. All her lymph nodes went down, she's still here, going to the park, swimming, eating, living a happy, healthy, enjoyable life because of cannabis oil. So call cannabis, call King Harvest. They can answer all your questions. The number is 877-469-4584, and I will post that in the description. Um, anyway, thank you guys for watching, and uh, take care, and peace, love, and pit bulls.